Hello there! So today it's going to be a little short video of a thing I found at Akihabara, which is the local electronics district in Tokyo, and it is a compact flash to IDE adapter. It says this is 950 yen, but it was actually on sale for 500 yen, which I still think is a little expensive, but I found it as a piece of junk, which was being sold as is without warranty of any kind. So before we take a look at this, this item is being sold by a company called Setagaya Denki, or a brand called Setagaya Denki, which means Setagaya Electrics or something along that line. This is a brand that's known to use like city names or town names as its product names. So this one's called Kamata. So if we were to apply this name to some, you know, equivalent in the US, maybe LA or something, would be like, say the company name was like Los Angeles Electric, for example. Uh, they would call this thing like Linwood or Hancock Park or something like that. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. As you can see, this box is a little bit yellowed, especially this little um, anti-theft tag is really yellowed. Uh, so we can kind of guess that this thing is pretty old. I couldn't find any indication of when this thing was actually manufactured, but yeah, I'm gonna guess it's pretty old and it's been sitting out in the sun or something because the print and stuff is all yellowed. Anyway, let's take a look at some of the specs. Oh, so you can actually take two compact flashcards and print it into an IDE interface. I thought it was only one, but I guess it'll take two. So it supports compact flash type 1 and type 2, and it doesn't have any chips on board. So I'm just going to guess it's just going to be some electrical conversion between the CF card uh, format over here to the IDE. Oh, it says it needs to connect to a floppy disk drive power port, so you can power up the CF card to connect it to the IDE. So let's go ahead and take a look. So I noticed there was a piece of tape over here that needs to be cut. So cut that open and it pops a box right open like this. Actually, it looks pretty clean inside. That's not bad. And it's got some little stickers like that, an instruction manual and a warranty card. Any indication of when this thing was built? Uh, not really. This, maybe the instruction manual will tell us when this thing is actually built. We're gonna hit to it. Nope, it doesn't really tell us when this is manufactured. Well, but it does tell us one thing. I guess this product comes in three forms. This one on the very left, which uses uh, two CF cards, connects and converts it to a 44 pin ID connector. And this one is another one that I don't have, which is two CF cards to a 40 pin ID connector. Oh, so that's interesting. So for the one that supports two CF cards, one side of the PCB is going to be used for connecting the master ID card, while the other side will be for connecting the slave CF card. So that's pretty interesting. That's how they actually can allow you to put two CF cards on one ID cable. That's very interesting. And finally, the product that I have right now is the Kamata. The other ones are called Unane, I guess, and Kitami. And the one out over here is called Kamata. It only supports one CF card and converts it into a 40 pin ID connector so that you have to connect this uh, floppy drive cable power thing. All right, so I'm gonna guess that the packaging is actually incorrect because it actually says two CF cards, but the instruction manual says one. Let's look at the actual product. So they didn't go through the trouble of actually taping this down. Yep, here it is. CF card on this side, and no CF card on the other. And as you can see, it says it supports Ultra DMA mode, so it's fairly fast. And again, no indication of when this thing was actually produced. Oh, wait, 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 maybe this. So it says 0808, which I guess we can say might have been made in the eighth week of 2008. So maybe about 10 years old. And it's actually pretty good condition. It's nice and shiny. All the contacts are still clean, doesn't look like it's corroded. Dual CF IDE, which is not quite true because this side's not populated. But yeah, here's a compact flash to IDE conversion. Basically, what would fit in your PC case slot. So you can pretty much put it in the slot, screw it down, and you can pretty much connect CF cards to the back of your computer. So yeah, if we look up close, it actually says CF1 master, so this side will be handled as the master. And on this side, it says CF2 slave. So if this card was populated over here, this side will be considered the slave. 
And this looks like a drive axis LED of some sort since it says D1, indicating it's probably some diode. And you can kind of see those arrows pointing out of there, which is indicative of an LED in a circuit diagram. So I thought this might be kind of interesting to use in creating like a retro PC. I especially, I think I showed you that I have the IBM 46 system and also have like an Athlon system from back in 2000s, which might be actually fun to play with using a CF card. So that's the reason I got this. All right, so that's pretty much what I have for today. If you found this video interesting, I'd appreciate it if you could a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. And when you do, please click on that little bell notification icon so you know when I upload any new videos. If you have any comments, please leave them down in the comments section and I'll do my best to answer them. As always, thank you very much for watching and see you next time.